this that if you go to war, it goes down. No. It's a project that is called Home Movies Factory and uh, it's been traveling in 10 or 15 cities so far um, uh, and that allows people to come uh, with friends uh, as groups or just single uh, and you can mix up with people you don't know and it's very important, there's no pretension to teach anything uh, and it's open to anyone, uh, especially people who are not doing creative job or especially not in movie business. So I remember the joy I felt when I was a kid or adolescent and I would use the camera of my father with my friend from school and my brother and we would create little stories and watch them and uh, without having any pretension to make cinema or movies it was really exciting and fun and uh, I don't see many people doing it just as a hobby uh, and I wanted to provide this joy by uh, providing an environment uh, that allows that. So we provide, we find a space and we provide 15 to 20 uh, little sets uh, that are very generic. Uh, there is, for instance, a kitchen, uh, a corridor, a living room, a little forest, a junkyard, a police station, a, a doctor's office. And people come and write a story uh, as a group, so it's very democratic. They start by to find the title of the film, and then the, the storyline, and then they decide of the scene. And you have to edit in the camera, there is no post-production. People project the film for themselves, like if there is 15 people who made the film, there is an audience of 15 people, and it's always really fun to watch them. It's to demonstrate that people, and especially people who don't have access to creative jobs, have, uh, still have, even when they become adult, uh, creativity, and at least enough creativity so they can entertain themselves.